Hello and welcome to today's video. I'd like to thank Solbio for actually supporting this channel. And uh, Solbio is a completely natural toilet fluid. It can be also used in the waste tank. It's environmentally friendly as it's made from completely natural ingredients. So if you'd like to know more about this product, there'll be more at the end of the current video and there will be links below. Thank you. This is the main square in Hamelberg, northwestern Bavaria. I've got an interesting vehicle here. Um, not so much interesting because it's a camper van, but more the use it's being put to. So I often talk of application, what people are applying their vehicles for, where they're thinking of going, or what they're thinking of doing with it. This is a cross camp. It's uh, by uh, Deathlefts. It's on a Toyota basis. Indeed, it's the first time I've actually seen it on a Toyota basis. Now, I have done videos uh, with CrossCamp in the past, but I did some from the Deathlev showroom next to their factory in Izni in Algoy. Uh, so, this one here is being used as a mobile uh, test station for hearing, and uh, presumably then the company would like to actually uh, sell hearing devices for those whose hearing maybe is not quite up to par. But anyway, let's have a look inside right now. So what we've got here is, uh, first of all, we've got uh, some, some drink which is being taken out. Then we've got a, this thing here forms a bed. Now, one thing that's often said of these chairs like this is that they're designed for beds and that makes them not so good for sitting on. And it is true that you've got all of this space here to sit on. Well, that might be good if you're tall or if you're like me and sit cross-legged, but for 99.9% .9 of the population, that possibly is a little bit uh, too big. Anyway, that's just that idea. Now, at the back over there, we've got the, um, the fridge and uh, here under these papers, there's, a, there's a two burners and a sink. And under there, we've got cabinetry and in the back is plenty of stuff for keeping your private uh, things. I can see from here that this is currently on hookup and the 12 volt is turned on and it would seem, yeah, well, this is on full, it is on, on hookup. There we have the heating Eberspracke, so it's diesel heating inside the van, which means to say that the gas um, uh, canister can be a smaller one for just the uh, cooking. And uh, so obviously carrying diesel around in the diesel tank anyway. And so I've got this tent in the roof, which, and you have a look down at some of the other features. This is an automatic one, and it comes in all sorts of, of engine. Uh, you can actually order the engine that you want, but you might have to wait for it. Now here we have audio med here. It's doing some tests on hearing. And uh, so, so this is a rather uh, um, useful thing that can be done because I'm used for work and then for play. So uh, we'll have a look on the outside as well. So there you go, the Mobili Hörstation. And on the Toyota, you can see it's on hookup. And there's a door in this side as well. So door near the side, tent in the roof. And that's your fuel. I doubled the value of my motorhome recently. I, I filled it up with fuel. So there you go. I might say something, here's the company that's allowed this to be filmed. So it is, there you are, powered by Aud Audimus.eu and Urbit de Mobili Hertz Station. So they give you an anal analysis in five minutes of your hearing. So it's great to see somebody actually using the van 
for two purposes. And sometimes when I say I call these a car, uh, sorry, uh, whatever I call them, I call it a car and all the rest of it. <laughs> but but if a use like this, you do really have the double function. And for example, I couldn't really bring my vehicle here and uh, do do uh, a listen, hearing test or some anything else in the main square. Yeah, I'll just give you a quick look around the main square here in Hamelberg. There's a building, it's the town hall. It looks as though it's medieval, or 17th century rather, but it isn't, it was actually rebuilt in the 1850s after a fire, and old towns are only as old as the last fire. This is the main square. Anyway, I've done separate videos on this place. I think it's really nice. But for the moment, there is the Deathless Cross Camp on a Toyota base. Um, I, the previous videos I did of it were on the opal base. So I shall sit in here, or you, or you sit that side, or what I side was it? Sit that side. You sit over here, please. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Very good. Super. First of all, I will have a look in your ear that everything is okay in your ear. Uh huh. Sorry. That's fine. Okay. Yes, and this is also fine. So we can do the hearing test. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you put over this um, headphones. Headphones, perfect. Yeah. And we will start on the right side. Right side. And you will hear um, some uh, peeps, uh, some peeps tones. Yeah. If you hear them really, really quiet, please say to me it with yes or no. Okay. With yes, just okay. with yes. And if it's really noisy? Really, really quiet. Okay. I can hear that. You can hear it? Yeah, just, unless it's a car reversing. But I can hear something. Perfect. Next one. That's a lower tone. No, is it a higher tone? Higher tone, yeah, yeah, that's right. Next one, also higher. Oh, yeah, it's like. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a mouse, somebody standing on a mouse. Now, here comes a deeper tone. Yes, I can hear that. That sounds like the wind. No, it's also the tone. It's a very, uh, very deep tone. Oh, I can hear it. Sorry, I can just mm -hmm. hear it. Yeah, it's like yeah. in the distance somewhere. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now we do the same on the left side. Okay. Oh, well. Seems I can hear so far. Yes, I can hear that very clearly. No problem. Yes, higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the higher frequencies, perfect. Once more higher. And now, again, the deeper ones. Yes, I can hear now. And one more. Yes, now. Perfect. Okay, and now we can see the results. You can. Okay. Yes. What? Um, the red line is the red ear, and the blue line is the blue ear. Yes. Here you can imagine like a piano. Here are the deeper frequencies, and here comes the higher frequencies. And here is the volume. Yes. Uh, here it's very, very quiet, and here it's very, very loud. Yes. So, the um, zero line here, that's a normal human between 20 and 25 years. Yes. And everything that's in the white area here, that's a normal hearing person. Yes. So, we see that you don't have a hearing loss. You hear really perfectly like you should. Yeah. Because you're here in the white, um, uh, in the right area. So, that's a person up to 25? 
Yeah, no, no, no. Twenty-five is here the zero line. And okay. You're a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more um, louder. You, I needed to turn yes. the tone so you could hear it, but it's all in the all in normal situation. That's perfect. So I don't need anything to be done whatsoever. Well, it's really that's 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 good news. I can hear. Yes. Well, because I thought there was, because I speak loudly sometimes, so I thought that might be the problem. But there's no problem at all. No, no problem at all. When people uh, are um, uh, have the, are in the the brown areas, yes. I presume that you then suggest that they get some kind of hearing aid. Yeah, and normally when you get older, not all the frequencies have a hearing loss. So it starts that the higher frequencies will get down, mm -hmm. and the deeper frequencies will stay in the normal hearing area. And that's um, caused that all the people hear and say, well, I heard you, but I didn't understand you. And that's um, always uh, because the higher frequencies are missing, because so a kind of the word is missing, but not everything. So that's why always the people say that they heard, they hear, but they don't understand. And that's why you can get, okay, maybe there's a hearing loss, that which is always on just in one yeah. part of the frequencies. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be all, all in the brown and the deeper area. Just um, just two of two frequencies will, will be um, fine and then the hearing the loss is also there. Okay, so I'm okay, but for those who are not okay, I'll leave a link below and you can contact the company about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. So this is the first time ever that I have accepted any support for uh, promoting a product on YouTube. Now I've been do on YouTube now for 15 years and I've doing the van life stuff for a number of years as well. Um, the reason I haven't accepted support in the past is because I, I felt it had to be something which I really agreed with and a product I knew. So I had to feel 100% about recommending it to others. This is Solbio and this is a toilet additive. Now, what's the point of a toilet additive? Well, when you use the toilet, then it goes into a cassette and you have to dump the cassette somewhere. Now, uh, if you just urinate into it, then there should be no problem. But if you put any solids into it, then it makes it a bit more difficult. Now, one thing you can do is if you have constant diarrhea, then you may not need a toilet additive because you should be able to dump it without any problems. For those of you who don't suffer from this problem, then uh, one thing you might want to consider doing, in fact, one thing you're going to have to consider doing is using a toilet additive. And there's two types. There's the blue stuff, which is manufactured by a number of companies and it works pretty well. No problems there whatsoever with the way it works. Oh, there's the green stuff, which is ecologically based. Now, up until now, the green stuff didn't work as well as the blue stuff. But I think with Solbio, uh, we're now seeing a comparative uh, working uh, rate. It works, just, it works just as well. So it's uh, ecological. What it's got inside, are natural soaps, it's got natural citric acid, it's got uh, essential oils and plant extracts and that breaks down whatever it is that you're throwing into the toilet or, or releasing into the toilet I should say and when you come to a dump station you can just tip up your cassette and it all flows in nicely. Now you may say, well I have constant diarrhea and so therefore I don't need something like that. Well, uh, that, that may be the, the case, but one thing that this has got, it's got a rather pleasant fragrance to it as well. Now, I personally like the, the, the fragrance of the blue stuff, but I know I'm in a small minority on that one. One thing I noticed uh, when I've been doing tests of really small vehicles, uh, such as you know five and a half meter ones above all, so as soon as you open the door, you have this um, uh, fragrance, let's say, of the blue stuff sort of, sort of hits you. Now, uh, with this one here, 
Solbjorn, it's got a more natural sort of smell. It's, it's a bit uh, like uh, eucalyptus. I'm trying to find a good way of actually describing it. And the best thing I could think of, it's got you know, these cough drops or these eucalyptus-like sweets. And it's got this type of fragrance within the uh, within the toilet anyway and uh, if you're in a small van I bet it fills up the it could fill up the small van I haven't really noticed it so when I'm sitting here in this position for example but uh, maybe I'm not using enough of it to actually notice uh, um, next thing is is it safe to use well the thing with the blue stuff is there are um, good reasons to suggest that it may not be completely safe to use. I mean, it does break things down in a chemical manner. I mean, I'm not going to suggest it's um, dangerous or anything like that, but I don't think it is particularly good for the environment. Uh, if it comes into contact with uh, plants or things of this nature, I mean, there's even there's warnings that, I mean, if you get it in a fish tank or something like that, I don't know why you want to put it in a fish tank, but uh, if you put it in a fish tank, then the fish will die. So um, this, as it comes from natural things, you assume that it's okay. Now the blue stuff as well, I've noticed, I always get it on my hands. And not only that, I mean obviously I sort of miss the toilet as well. But sorry, I get it in the toilet bowl, I don't miss the toilet, I miss the sort of the hole where you open up for the toilet. And it sort of stains and it takes a few uh, flushes for it to actually go down. I don't know if that's bad or not, but... Um, it's uh, with this stuff. It's uh, it's almost translucent. Not quite, but almost. As is when you dump it out, which seems a bit odd the first time. You think, hang on, just a minute. I'm sure I didn't just urinate in there. Uh, but but that's the way. That's the way it is. Um, the, the manufacturers say it doesn't cause skin irritation. I have never experienced skin irritation from the blue stuff, but I have heard of people. Uh, uh, having this problem and um, let's have another look at it because here it comes in two uh, this one one's for marine use and the other's for motorhome use now it could be that mariners use the toilet or they eat something a bit more dodgy or I don't know but it's it's different this contains 40 um, doses and it's dosed via this thing down here, this little tap. Now, um, I know there are people who are suspect of these taps. Now, I previously worked in the packaging industry. And indeed, I used to give uh, talks being an expert. I don't think I was much of an expert, but, but, uh, but uh, I do know a little bit about it. This technology is perfectly safe i think to use it's not i mean it, it's often used in bag in the box applications and so you, know, you get wine or something the wine's in a in a um in a box and it got this tap that sticks out and you and you use it in the company i used to work where we produced blueberry juice we use this technology and i've never known the taps to go wrong in my direct experience but when they first came out, I agree there was problems with them. I've heard of people saying they put something in the fridge or they're they, uh, you know, in, the, in the van and something hit here. In theory, you're supposed to knock both ends down at the... Oh, sorry, sorry, pull them both up and press down at the same time to get it to, to work. So, I mean, I do accept that these things can go wrong. Just as, I mean, if you don't close a bottle properly, everything will go out. But I make, I make that part. Other than that, the bag may seem a little uh, unsturdy because of the, the, the way it is. But uh, I can tell it's made from um, recycled. Uh, it's green plastic. It's uh, and uh, I think it's I think it's quite safe. So uh, there are some observations on this. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really do think it's a, it's it is a good solution for you. Now, it costs roughly the same as the blue stuff. There isn't much difference. Now, I do appreciate that um, in, um, with, if there was a price difference, that might be a problem. Although, I think if you're into motorhomes, then you're probably like living in harmony with nature, which is what I'm in it 
for really I think I think it's the call of nature this contact with nature and all the rest of it so I think that protecting nature is something that uh, I, I would want to do whether or not I'm prepared to pay a premium yes maybe I'm prepared to pay a little bit of a premium for it but in all honesty this between this one and the blue stuff there's hardly any difference right so uh, if you find that of interest there will be a link below it's not an affiliate link it just tell you where to get the stuff from um, I'm not on any affiliate programs at all deliberately so nobody can accuse me of uh, uh, trying to promote something to get the affiliate uh, link but I do absolutely believe in this product so, thanks very much for watching. I am currently at a place called Alexa Camping or Camping Alexa in northern Poland. And you may have heard some of the noises on the outside from the campsite. But I shall tell you more about that in another video. So, there you go. This is about Solvio. Thanks for watching.